This is Monster Restore 91. And today we're gonna do a, a utility trailer. It's a six by 12 foot trailer. My brother already painted it. He stained it on the bottom and used the color flat black. On these plywoods, they're four feet tall and eight feet wide. He painted it flat black. So we're gonna get to cutting. So uh, we're gonna pretty much put the walls up. Sorry for the wind, it's pretty windy, but we're gonna get going. And also I'm gonna try the, my new circular saw, the Ryobi. So we just drilled the first hole. It didn't came out from the other side because we calculated the measurements. There's like a piece of bracket in the front, so it covers it. Show like that right there. That's kind of like it's, uh, like that bracket right there that you see right here. So it didn't show the bolt. So we're just gonna be drilling the bolt for the strong winds. I don't know if you could hear the strong wind, so we need to make this um, windproof and all weatherproof for water, when it rains, or snow, or debris like dust, like dirt, and rocks. So we're just right now putting all the walls, doing all the measurements, and little by little we're going to start putting the 2 by 4s also, cut them, and little by little we're just going to put the walls up. So in case you broke the in case you break the bolt, we're using the Irwin the Irwin um, drill bits. They're for metal. And now I'm using the 532s. The 532s. So I'm just drilling a hole. The bolt is stuck in there. So I'm gonna drill it. Until it, it comes out. Well, it's not gonna come out, it's probably gonna fall out. What if we screw one? Alright, so I already drilled it out with the drill bit, the bolt that was stuck in there. I basically went through the bolt and destroyed it, the bolt in there. So now we're gonna retry and put a new screw and continue on building this trailer. Okay, so this is the update. This is the trailer. We already cut um, three feet, ten, 10 inches and a half on the very end. See, it's already looking like a trailer. We already put out the walls. We're gonna put a two by four right there when you see that gap. And another one over there on the other side. So that's how it looks. So we already put on on the other side also. You know, watch my step. So there you go. We removed the, the spare tire. So we could measure the other part, but look at how it's looking. Like I said, my brother-in-law painted it uh, flat black and stained it with all weatherproof. like So it could handle the water, debris, and snow. And dirt and water so this is how it looks like 
little by little. It's a project. It's an easy project. Which, of course, when you have to do cuttings, you have to do it custom made. So it's looking little by little better. So we're going to put two by fours right there in the corners to reinforce it and probably put some in the, the, in the top. And one right there in the gap. And another one on the other side too. So we're just going to finish cutting the other one from the other side right here. And then we're just going to put these ones and these two in the front and then call it a day. Then next week we'll put on the other ones. Okay, so this is how it looks like. We measured the same thing, three feet, 10 inches and a half. This tool is doing very well. It's not giving up as you can see, like it hasn't given up. That's why I put the 8.08 AH right here. 8.0 AH. So it doesn't give up. Let's check out the battery life. I just remove the battery. See how much we use see still full so this is why I recommend this one $42 on eBay comes with two so it's a pretty good deal instead of spending on this little small one the this one is way too small it won't last you that much for this it's good maybe but if you want it to last more longer guarantee this one so right now we're just gonna tighten it up. Else it's gonna fall like that. <laughs> so yeah, we still have a strong wind, but we're done. We're just gonna tighten the bolt. Yeah, we're just gonna put on the bolts and call it a day and do it next week. The other the other stuff that needs to be finished. Okay, so we already took so we already put the two by fours right here. We're gonna put some on the bottom too. One more row. Just like just like that one. So we put the two by four brackets. But so we could reinforce it. We're gonna screw. I'm gonna make a screw right here first. So I could take it out and then put it from the inside. So I could hold a two by four from the outside and in the inside right here and right here. So we I'm gonna make a hole right here first. And then um, I'll show you guys how I do it right now. We already made the measurements. It's right here. That one is going to go right here in the back. Okay. So this is how you do it. You put the screw right here. And then you take it out. So once you put the 2x4 right here, from the outside you just screw it in and it should go in. So I'm going to show you right now. Um, just keep it right there. And I'm gonna put the screw right there. Hold on. I can't see where is it at. Reverse it. Okay. Right yeah. You filmed it? Mm -hmm. So you can see that like, it went in. It's already in there. So once we put on the the 2x4, we're going to put this one's going to go in. It's already attached to the wood. And we're going to put this one right here and another one on the bottom. And that's how I do it just to reinforce it. And probably we're going to run some screws from the outside so it could get the 2x4 in the inside. Okay, so now we're gonna give it a little bang with the rubber mallet, just softly, so it could get in. There we go. So 
So now, like I said, we're going to put a screw right here and another one over there in this bowl and one in the bottom. And like I said, the other one, I did the holes so we could hold the other side of the bracket. Right there. And here's the other one. So right now I already got the 2x4, but I'm still going to drill some 2-inch two, uh, two um, screws so I could hold the 2x4s on the side. I'm just going to put one and two. And then continue on to the other side, but at the inside for the 2 by 4 Which, we're almost done. Look at how it looks from the bottom and the top. We already did the top part. So now we're just going to do the, the one right here in the middle. And another one right here in the front. And the other side. We're gonna put the other bracket. So this is how it's been looking. So you'll see right now we're gonna film how it looks from the outside. Okay, so we cut it at 92 inches and 3 eighths. So this one is gonna go on the side. So we always put the bracket first and the screws. And then we measure it with a tape measure and calculate how much is 92 and 3 eighths. And then we use the square, put the ruler right here, and then we would just mark it right here, wherever the measurement is. So we already cut it. Now we're gonna put it on to the middle part with those two brackets so we could screw it in and reinforce this so we, should we screw in the other one the outside one all right so we're gonna put the wood and see if it fits if it doesn't fit you just you could just hit it with a rubber mallet with this one so you won't break the wood because you don't want to use a real metal hammer because then you'll break the wood so always use a rubber mallet so this is a bracket could be a little bit tight it might not fit it all the way in but look that's how it looks Now we're just gonna screw in the other one. Like I said, screw the other one first and then remove the screw so you can screw it outside. We're gonna screw it right now on the outside. It's already in the hole. So, this is how we're doing it. So we're gonna use a two inch from the outside to screw it so it can make it all the way over here. So this is how it's looking. Okay, so we already finished. This is the leftover wood. I might use it for another project. So this saw has been good. Like I said, I ended up buying this $42 battery. Didn't waste that much. I only wasted one bar. So this is a good battery. To do all this hard work, I haven't even charged this battery. It's the 0 0.08H. Like I said, you could buy it at eBay. It will last you a long longer than the original battery, which it doesn't. It wouldn't do this type of job. It will drain the battery real quick, and it, the machine will, the circular saw will give up real quick. So this is how it looks like. So we put brackets on the bottom of the floor. And on the sides and two by fours to reinforce it. So this is a good utility um, trailer to put stuff in, like quads and 
other things that you have to transport. Probably he's gonna have to put like night reflectors for the night, so um, they could see. Already has some right there, but I need some in the top. So this is a 2024 trailer, brand new. So he just invested in the wood, the two by fours and the brackets and some screws, but it looks very nice. We reinforced it real good. Now we could transport a lot of things. When we have to bring appliances or um, sheet metal for other projects or materials, equipment. So this is how it looks. Reinforced, painted flat black. My brother not painted it all flat black. Look, very solid. It added more weight because you couldn't stand up right here in the back because the trailer will flip because it was lightweight. Now that we install this on um, wood, it's a lot, a little bit heavier. Added more weight, so you feel the difference without it driving it. It was bouncing a lot, but now that we put the wood, it doesn't bounce a lot. So thank you for watching my videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and give a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.